what's up guys zeus here with another video and um so funny thing really you know a very funny haha moment right so i was supposed to be at work but then i was told to come in later for work so i could close so i actually have the time to record a video so that's what i'm doing right now but i'm kind of like speed running it so i'm not gonna waste too much time on the intro all i'm gonna say is four days until new year's have merry christmas merry new year's um mazel tov I, I don't know um we're gonna watch some more ivl matches and 2k by the end of the year so with that being said let's hop right into the first set of matches all right round one first half gg versus dow five we're gonna see anti merc lawyer and lucky guy against who would have guessed it opera singer now i want everyone to keep in mind that this is from week six so this is from earlier during the adjustment period that opera singer brought over to the meta so there's not that many variants of the sui build the the you know sacrifice all for kiting build so we might see some different comps than what we've seen in the past for week eight and nine and even some of week seven but regardless it's still ivl it's still fun to watch and we're all learning from it and that's why i like to do it and that's why i review it because it's fun it's f-u-n so that being said first round map leos lawyer is on windows bt anti on flywheel <laughs> broken windows lucky guy on windows bt and merc is running um the standard tied bt i want to see a i want to see a tied broken windows merc that's what i want to see or flywheel tied merc i want to see that one of these days are seeing chasing the lawyer in factory oh yeah this is a marathon and a half all right jesus christ this hunter's so fucking broken Ooh, mind gaming but he can just tp back he can just tp back and that's gonna be a hit yeah that's a, that was a very smart strategy by jean right there good way to cut off the route like that very smart you're gonna see Ch lawyer is going all the way upstairs Ooh charge attack yeah standard bullshit yo this marathon is going off for crazy blink is about to be up in five seconds this is still a relatively short kite all things considered he should be dead here like he, he should he should be dead yeah this is a relatively and he got fucking basement yo bro the basement call outs please <laughs> that's it ggs literally like i don't see how dow five like gets out of this i don't Merc is coming from the upstairs, the fuck? I, I mean, I guess. Is it just there to ring tinnitus? I think he is just there to ring tinnitus. Speaking of upstairs, guess where Jam is going? He's wasting no time. He, he sees you, buddy. And now he can just TP back down. Wait, can he? No, his clone should be up. Oh my god! Yo! Go after the Merc, you have the time. Go after the Merc, you have the time. No, he was scared. I can't believe that actually like fucking worked. I like I can't believe the Merc still got that rescue. That's insane, dude. Merc pulling that shit off out of his ass just because he had the elbow pad. Fucking crazy. I don't know. I would have hit the lawyer there for the full press. I don't know. That's just me though. I know it's like the extra like two seconds, but I would have hit it for the full press. Uh, we're gonna see her head immediately towards Christmas tree now, dude. This match is going by so fast already. Okay. Ooh, teleport back. We are seeing that the anti is ringing the night is. Why did you got a bot? Why did she just flywheel? Why? Why did she flywheel? Huh? I'm confused by that. They are selling the lawyer because he has no rebound kite potential. Blink is going to be back up in about 40 seconds now. We are going to see he has tinnitus on the bot. He should hit the bot here. Yep, hits the fucking bot dizzle. Now you're going to know where the lucky guy is. Yep. The lucky guy has a pocket watch though. So he's about to pocket rocket his way over. Okay. Break the shock pallet. Completely burn it. Now we just loop Shaq, pocket watch when he gets low. Yeah, pocket watch immediately. Waste no time, maximum efficiency. Oh my fucking god, dude. Bro, what is the luck with these swings? The RNG on this shit is insane. Well, you at least know where Nan is now. They're at three ciphers. They have four fucking ciphers done. That's the funny thing. 
Like, they're in a quote-unquote draw position. It's so hilarious. Fun. Fun stands for... Ooh, teach that bitch some respect. That's what fun stands for. The hell? Nice. You make that. Yes, yeah, sir. Eh, but you're dead here. You 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 straight die. Yeah, that's about it. You can't double you you doubled back into a dead area. But you also didn't want to die on Cypher, so Yeah, because Merc Cypher was near factory. You didn't want to risk basement. Because they don't know if she has giant claw or not. I respect it, I respect it. Oh my god. Teleport is straight to the fucking God Kites. Oh, did she mean to teleport to the Merc Cypher but then TP to God Kite? Because he popped it? I'm assuming that's what happened. Because she was aiming at factory. That's unfortunate. Slap that bitch once. Smack that bitch twice. You're gonna smack that bitch a third time? No, you're not. No, I'm gonna chase after the anti still. Well, I mean, they have a they have an extra cipher already done. Like, that's the thing. They have the extra cipher. Anti just needs to start spamming fucking pallets now. These are good pallets to spam. On pallet spamming, you do not want to spam suicide pallets. Like, this pallet right here, you would not want to spam. Because... If you do that, you are entrapping yourself, and you don't know- you have nowhere to go, pretty much, if you try, um, spamming that pallet that the anti was at before she entered God Kite. You will die. That is a suicide pallet. You drop that shit, opera- you're not winning a, a speed mind game against an opera. Leaving the anti now, going to the cypher, they just pop here. Just pop. Yup, yup, yup. Merc is already on a gate, too, which means this is a guaranteed draw, pretty much. Her TP's on 40? Yeah. This is a draw. This is just guaranteed draw. Breaking every pallet in sight. Sticks and stones. Chrome on chrome. It's just what? Oh, uh, he's dying in the corner. That's so fucking hilarious. He died in the corner. But that's a motherfucking draw. Wait, they're going for a three? Wait. Oh, she's slugging out. Yo, Jean Gaming. The gate's already open, though. What are you doing? She's in the gate, my boy. She's not hiding. You gotta just go back. Dog, the opera control is actually fucking insane. Like, this hunter's so nutty. But that's gonna be a draw for the first half. He picked himself up. <laughs> Kill me again! Yeah! Well, that's a draw for the first half of round one. Let's hop right into the second half. Alright, we have my favorite fucking hunter of all time, Jan, playing Abnormal Opera against a Merc, Acro, Anti, and Lawyer. Lawyer and Acro and Anti are all running Broken Windows Borrow Time, with the Merc running Tide Borrow Time. So pretty standard shit, honestly. Like, every Broken Windows is just looking like the superior trait over Flywheel, because distance is what you want above anything else against an Opera, no matter what. Flywheel is good for, like, one swing to get to a pallet, maybe, or just one swing in the open before she dashes at your ass and then fucking kills you anyway. So yeah, Flywheel is looking like the superior choice. But Dow 5 got a draw in that first half. Not bad from the Dow 5 serves. Honestly, not bad. Not bad at all. Gotta give them their props. Now we just need to see if fucking Jan knows how to fucking do shit. Does Jan know how to cook? Yes or no? Jan heading straight over to factory. Let's see. He's going to factory chasing the lawyer, bro. What is with these people wanting to chase lawyers in factory? Like, I know he's the fastest decoder, but like, it's a lawyer in factory. But no, th this is still ideal chase. Like, you want to do... Are we going to... I, bro, I swear to God, I got deja vu from that because I thought I was watching John play Hunter again. The fuck? Well, no, this is ideal chase. Like, even if it's in factory and lawyer, lawyer has that fucking malicious 20% decode de buff. And that's not even accounting accelerated. So, like, faster you get out of him out the game and prevent him from decoding, the more he's just... The, the Cypher Rush is already slowing down by a shit ton. He's going over to the Merc. He might die on the Merc Cypher. Because now, Jan, abnormal the fucking Merc Cypher right now. Abnormal it... Oh, my God. Respect the palette, baby boy. Respect it. Please, abnormal the Merc Cypher right now. I'm begging. What? What the fuck? Okay, well, now you have normal the Merc Cypher. Please, please. Yep, break the pallets. Make God Kite a completely dead area. Just, whatever. 
or order doesn't matter the point is that he's going to abnormal that mercenary cipher which means now they're gonna really be fucking behind on decoding which is what you want that is exactly what you want yep he's gonna kick that bitch in and now it's back to zero percent and now they are behind an entire cipher pretty much somebody needs to come and rescue because they don't have the decoding progress to fucking quote unquote sell and even if they try to sell yon's an opera that boy just fucking runs around back and forth for the rest of the map yon is cooking right now yon is cooking I have to give props where props is due. Yon gets me annoyed at times, but Yon is cooking. I cannot lie. They're, are they really just selling? Ah, well, shit, Loy. What is a lawyer going to rebound Kite in a dead god Kite area, right? Yeah. Still, the abnormal's really hurting. No, wait. Kukau is coming back in. He's going to elbow pad past. She's setting up her fucking army of clones. Okay, are you gonna go for it? You don't even need to. Okay, there's the elbow. Whoa, that elbow pad was a little. Oh, wow. That was a literal frame off from being a terror shock. That's crazy. If that was me, that was a terror shock. I'm just saying. I, I don't make the rules here. I'm just saying if that was me, I was getting terror shocked. Like, I don't know what it is about the game favoring people. But if that was me going for that rescue and I did that same shit that cool Kyle did, I would have gotten TS'd. Lawyer is dying in a corner, though. He's dying all the way away from every damn cypher on the map. So, you know, it's fine. Ooh, Factory is a final cypher. Could be hard for him, for Yon. But then again, the cypher's already... The fucking god palette's already gone at Factory, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Ow, my hair. <laughs> He's heading immediately over to Christmas tree. Ooh, Merc did get a perfume bottle. Is he gonna be chasing the Merc now? Yeah, wow, they're still in a draw position, actually. They're still in a decent draw position, I can't lie. Ah, beautiful perfume. Pick up your pads, drop the pallet, elbow pad away. Yup, play for play. Thank you. I love my big brain, man. I, I love, I could kiss my brain. Drop pallets, clone for clone. You got an elbow pad here. You don't have the time. Wait, when the fuck did you get a wand? That box was pre oh. Dog, this Merc... Bro, Kukau is Batman, bro. Bro said with prep time, I'm invincible. That's crazy. He really set himself up with two items. Oh, but you got your pallet disrespected, so I don't know about being Batman now. Batman wouldn't let his, pa his pallet get disrespected. She teleports immediately. Smacky smack. Yup, give her time to transit. <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's fucking funny. That is fucking hilarious. Oh my god, bro. She fucking smacked them just to decode. Merc with the shell shock healing. <sighs> Yon is kind of getting cooked right now. I can't lie. Once the, are they going to just full heal the Merc, though? I feel like they should. Mmm, smack her again. Let's fucking go. Breaks that pallet right there because she has to. No, they're not full healing. They're just going to start a brand new cypher. PP Shaw's doing a fucking amazing kite, though, for what it is. Smacked her frame one again. Bro, if that was me, my stick is getting canceled. Is that just me being bad? Is that the PP Shaw difference? The, yo, the flipping back and forth is crazy. This is why Anti is such a fucking nut character, man. 18 is starting a new cypher. That has to be a Dragon Ball reference, right? You surely are just named GG18, not out of Android 18. It surely has to be a Dragon Ball reference. That's not a Terra Shock? Yo! What is this luck, bro? That is the PPJ difference. Dog, that's insane. Wow. Well, they got a cipher now, and Musinyoe is coming in. Cool cow, Batman himself is coming. He got himself another. Got himself a pocket watch and a perfume. Bro really said I'm Batman with prep time. He's going straight to the Cypher. I think Acro might just need to pop. No, Acro can't pop in time. Okay, well, they get... Uh, ooh, close mind game, close mind game. Okay, well, does he TP back to chair now? No, he's just going to be on the Acro. I don't know. I feel like TPing back to chair would have been worse. Because now you get to force the Merc off Cypher for like six... Off the rescue for like six seconds. And then if anything, if you're that scared for the Cypher, you just backflip back and that's it. I don't know. Maybe that's just like in hindsight. Hindsight is 2020, so like you know, who knows? Maybe that wouldn't have worked. 
because you know it's like only a six to eight second interval before the clones start disappearing and if he didn't have that many clones over there like he would only have a six to eight second window before he would have to tp back and who knows if that was enough so you know but in theory it could have been a good play just you know outlying factors and shit but we are seeing he's just camping it out now yan is on edge right now bro is pressured you see how close his his face is to the phone that boy is focused Cypher's about to be primed. She, I mean, he can't afford to TP here. Not anymore. If he TPs, they just go and prime the other Cypher. Hey, box me dip. Oh, shut it. Oh, they got popping. You better pop now, though. Dog. Don't, don't hit him, please. Don't hit him. Yep, they pop. Pre-nerf Merc. Pre-nerf Merc, ladies and gentlemen. 15 seconds of unadulterated bullshit. Wait, he can three man. Wait, he can three man. This has three man potential. This has three man potential. PP show has no more stick. He has a watch. Acrobat still has like two fucking balls or one ball. But this has three. Where, where are we going? What are we doing? What are we doing? Yawn, 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 yawn. Please. Well, I mean, neither of them are on a gate anyway, so I'm, I'm stressing for no reason. I'm just more of like, what if they do this, that, and the third? But they both have debuffs. Um, Both acro and anti have gate opening debuffs, which drastically help you on out. We are going to see the TP. Start swinging. Start swinging, baby boy. Start swinging. Oh, you were so close yet so far. And he TP back. See, that's what I told him to do earlier. So it, it, in hindsight, it can work. It, it is a decent play. And you're an opera, so you just make it back. The Acro was doing a good job, though, by staying in basement and ringing Tinnitus. The reason that is a great play is because if Jan were to go closer near Shaq, he would think that the Acro might try to come for a sneaky rescue, but he wouldn't know where... And PP Joe went down. Well, Acro is getting that rescue off now, but they have to open an entire new gate, but there is 40 seconds on the tension now. But yeah, TLDR, PP, uh, 18 being there to ring tinnitus makes Jan scared because he doesn't know who's coming for backdoor unless Jan just needs to bite the bullet and accept the fact that backdoor is happening. Although he might see 18, he saw 18. Holy shit. Holy shit. Dog, this might be actual three, man. Because Merc doesn't make it in time. Okay. Mmm, respect the palette. That's a W three man right there. Good fucking three man, buddy. Merc, you don't make that shit. Just leave. Yeah. Good three man from Yon. Dow 5 showing off. Let's go. Dow 5 on their shit this round. All right. Second round. We got prisoner, mechanic, officer, patient against the Will Brothers. Running abnormal. Bro, what the? What in the Koa 5 throwback? Yo, this is the throwback of throwbacks. This is some. This is a Koa 5 kind of team right now, bro. What the fuck? This is an actual, like, Koa 5 team. Ew, my fucking headphones. <laughs> this is a Koa 5 throwback. Yo, Prisoner and Mech. Yo, Cypher Rush met up back. Who needs to kite when you can Cypher Rush, right? That's about to be the fucking thing. Prisoner and Mechanic duo cooking. This duo used to be cancerous back in the day, dog. All right. Let's hop right into it. Mech and Priz are both running suicide build. Patient and Merc are both on rescue builds. And we are going to see he's going to find the bot first. No, he doesn't see the bot. He does not see the bot first. Very unfortunate. What's he on right now? He's on the mech, though. But that's the thing. Mech still has a doll, though. Like, you get her down, and that's it. But she took two spikes early, dude. Oh, she's dead. She might actually just be dead here. Okay, she's not. Vault the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he missed the trap. That's unfortunate. Abnormal is up, though. Okay. Trap again. This mech is kiting on shit. She's dead, though. She's dead. That's it. It's clip. It's over. That was, like, oh, average kite. That was, like, literally, like, bare bones 60 seconds. But look at their cypher progress. And Mech has a doll to use. Dude, they're already about to pop. They get, it's only seven. It's literally, it hasn't even been 70 seconds into the game, and they're about to pop two damn ciphers. Oh my god, bro. Yo, the prisoner mech strats. This is especially good for Dow 5, though, since they already. <laughs> Using the shock just to fucking get him to prevent the abnormal is hilarious. That's fucking funny. Free rescue on the mech. 
Is the bot decoding though? That's the question. Oh, it should be now. It's not decoding. No, it isn't. It's standing in front of a cipher though. She doesn't care. She just wants to put her bot to decode. Yeah. If she does that, then they it's just a free sell. That's all they need to do. If bot decodes, it's kind of a free sell because they still gain the cipher progress anyway that they lost. Because oh well, uh well you're about to have to kite with bot, baby girl. You about to have to kite with bot. That is tough, and you kind of don't want to die because you don't want to give this fucker full. Oh, teach him respect. Oh, oh damn, rip bot. But free rescue though. They have 55, 70, 13, and yo, their ciphers are actually still looking good right now. Oh, he knows. He knows. He knows. Damn, that's unfortunate. It just sucks that, like, her flywheel isn't up, though, or she would be able to do something. She she just can't because she doesn't have flywheel up. Which really sucks, because now he just snaps and then game. Yep. He snaps. He's full press. I want to see how this is going to go, though, now. Because, like, they have the ciphers. Like, they do. 55, 70, 30. Like, they can theoretically pull this off. It's just a matter of how long the kites are now. Because full presence wheel is going to... This is where the snowball starts. Because now if he gets a quick down, he, swips to, he switches to peepers. He slugs and it's clipped. Like, that's really it. Wait. Aw, oh, damn. Couldn't hook in time. Unfortunate. He's breaking off connections. He, no, he's abnormally again and breaking off connections. Yeah. Unfortunate. Yeah, the wheel. Is, this is what I'm talking about. This is that wheel snowball right now. Because now the patient is going to die. He has snap back. He just snaps. Yep, he just snapped. Did he use the hook? Did No, he didn't. It's not on cooldown. He has snap. He chairs. And now from here, if he wants to, he can switch to peepers. I think me personally, I would switch to peepers maybe. Because you've already used abnormal twice now. So the third abnormal is not going to be as beneficial as the first and the second. Like, my kind of rule of thumb with abnormal is, like, at max, use abnormal three times before switch. Because at that point, you're not going to... Well, well, oh, well, he tried using another hook. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. He tried using hook again. I don't know how good this is going to be. He died on a cypher. 70 and 44. What's final cypher? Island, right? Yeah. Going to be on that praise. Oh, here we go. Free rescue after free fucking rescue. Mm -hmm. Now he's gonna run in a circle, but he's dead because he has snap. And that's it. Yeah, no, this is the up rip. Yeah, that's just it. No flywheel, snowball effect kicking in right now. Mech's kite was just not enough, I guess. Same thing with a uh, patient. Patient just died too fast. The, the final nail in the coffin, though, was the patient's death. Like, that was the final nail in the coffin. Had the patient kited even like fucking like 20 seconds longer, this could have been an entirely different game. It's so funny. He's abnormaling it again. It went down to th it went down by 30%. Yeah. An abnormal wheel, man. Bro said they want to cipher rush. Well, I'm going to be the anti rush. I'm going to be the sl the cipher slow. The, the cipher not rush? The anti cipher rush. Yeah, that, that's, that, that, that's a fine one. Yeah. Well, Nan still has flywheel. He knows this, so he, that's why he's going for a second spike. Exactly. Oh, good cancel of the full presence by Nan right there. Very good. Why can't my prisoners do this in ranked? Prisoner mains, if you're out there, please start doing this in ranked. Where you, like, cancel out full presence against wheels because you can do that. It would be really funny. Well, uh, your, your clip, buddy. Trap, and yep, that's it. And now, yeah, he already swapped to peepers, too. So, yeah, this is just going to be slug wheel now. This is going to be a slugfest, which means this should just be a four-man for Jean. This this actually should just be a straight four-man for him. There's no reason why it shouldn't. Wait. They're popping. They popped. Oh, but Prisoner doesn't have BT, so they're kind of fucked. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Swing. Swing. Please, just randomly swing. Yes. Oh, uh, okay, so the reason, um, Jean knew to swing there in that moment was because when the officer activates it, watch, uh, the watch again for the second usage during the, like, after the first duration ends, the officer's location is re revealed for, like, a good second, so you can automatically swing and know where the officer is gonna be. 
which is why he knew to swing right there. And yeah, that's that. That's it. That's the four man. That's it. That's, all, that's it. It's over. It is Jover. Trump card detention wheel cooking. We are going to see the officer is going to sell fuel to try and open the gate, even though it's going to be done in vain. And he just gets snapped down, and that's it. Four man, four GG. Good job, Jean. The Will brothers brothering around to cook. Good shit. All right. Second half of round two, we got a clerk against Gravekeeper, Acrobat, and the couple themselves, patient and psychologist. They ate a meal out here doing their shit. PPJ and 18, real. We are going to see Flywheel Tide, patient. Flywheel, borrowed time. Uh, psychologist, which I kind of don't really agree with, to be honest. Tide, or standard rescue build, gravekeeper, and then Flywheel Beat and Flywheel BT Acrobat. Now, I don't agree with Psych running Flywheel because Psych is kind of a shitty kiter, because she is. No, she isn't kind of a shitty kiter, she is a shitty kiter. Her only redeeming quality when it comes to kiting is the fact that she can take three hits. Like, I would... Unironically, I would rather a Psych bring Tide than a Psych bring Flywheel, to be honest. Because Flywheel, like, it doesn't do that much for you when you're playing a character that has no way to defend themselves at all. It is much better for you as a psychologist, in my opinion. This is obviously, like... You know, you can have your opinions on things, but for me, in my opinion, when I play Psychologist, I rather just run Windows or Suicide Build as a whole, simply because of the fact that I get the distance and I can keep myself clean. I don't need to worry about giving a hit if I always have the distance that I need to have, you know? Chasing the Rescue at first. Oh, this is going to be the standard strategy of Clerks chasing the Rescue at first so they can snowball into the endgame because there will be no Tide Turner to rescue them. This is typically a draw strategy with most clerks. This this typically ends in the clerk getting a draw. What the fuck? Huh? Um, was that a live stream issue? I I think that was a live stream issue. Maybe. What the fuck? Okay. Well, I'm not gonna question it. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, um, it typically results in a draw. It doesn't result in anything more unless there is survivor error, but it typically does result in a draw in most cases. Okay, we are going to see Gravekeeper at Corner House. He's going crazy. He's going in. Pallet. Yep, yep. You're going to get take a hit here. That's over. It's clip. No, no. Also, I want to make a quick turn back to the Psych thing. Am I saying Psych run Tide? Uh, fuck no. Tide is like arguably like even worse than Flywheel simply because of the fact that you have no ability to kite at all. I'm just saying, if you're going to be a kiting psych, just fucking bring windows, in my opinion, at least. At least, in theory, psych with tide can work because she takes three hits, but I don't recommend it either because then you're just pretty much useless if you get chased. You are not kiting long. But we are going to see Gravekeeper and Shovel. And, wow. Yeah, this is about a... This is a three cypher kite, give or take, but he's dying on a cypher right now, so I don't know. He's dying on patient cipher. Waiting out the shovel, and that is clip. Oh wow, very good hitbox manipulation. Yeah, this actually might push it to a win though. Just dying on a cipher against the clerk, this might push it to a win. Funny enough, not even not even trolling. Not even trolling. This might be a win, kid. I don't know. People just didn't fall for that bullshit. It's people just he knows. What the fuck are they doing? Oh my god. I had to put on the Valorant accent. Patient is getting the rescue. He doesn't have BT though. He still has his fucking flywheel. Messes up the window vault. Yawn, you're literally garbage, kid. Yawn, you're actually trash. Alright, I'm gonna maybe done with the Valorant accent now. Grave is dead here. Grave is dead. My game's a pilot. My game's a pilot. My game's a pilot. Wow. <laughs> ah, you're dead. What? Well, the pallet's locked. You can't drop it, so... Tough. <laughs> yeah. People forget that clerk can do that, by the way. People forget that clerk can lock pallets, so they can't be used, and it's so funny. It is, it is actually one of the most hilarious things alive when a clerk locks a pallet and a survivor is, like, running into it, and then just like, why can't I vault? <laughs> it is one of the funniest things alive, I swear to God. Let 
gonna see. Are they gonna sell? They're probably gonna sell. She has blink. They know. They should know that she has blink because she hasn't used any other real trait. She wouldn't have to, but they should know. Hey, right. I don't see what else. Whoa, 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 whoa! I blink for like two fucking seconds to yawn, and I fucking <laughs> see a free rescue happen. The fuck? Wow. Oh, is um 18 gonna play body block? Well, blink and your clip. Yeah, the second you drop that power, his fate was sealed. If you were gonna drop that, he had to stay close. This is hilarious. Like the pallet, he didn't get the recording though, so he doesn't have a pallet break recording. Oh, something almost fell in my room. But this is again, like I said, this is looking like a solid draw position. Chasing the rescue first, so there's no tide turners for the most part. Aside from the patient's tide who's already been burned. Uh, yeah, this typically results in a draw, and we are seeing that into fruition here. There's another power break recording. You can't even record Kukau. That's the funny thing. Patient using hooks just to keep marathoning to maintain distance. GG18 with the 100 second kite. Let's fucking go. Did Kukau get off that in time? I don't know. Is Psych starting another cypher? No, Psych. PVJ, you're just chilling here? The fuck? Perfume. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful perfume, 18. Beautiful. Beautiful fucking perfume. Love to see that shit. Uh, Kukau's opening an item box right now. I guess for the patient. Yeah, he's the only one. He's the only one that can pick up items, so I would assume it would be for the patient. That's not a hit. I shit you not. I got a fucking clerk during midday rank, bro, and that uh, she did that exact same bullshit to me on Leo's, and I got fucking hit through it. That is some bullshit. Some grade A bullshittery. Her hitbox is deceivingly long, too. That's the thing. Clerk's hitbox is deceivingly long and wide. What were they waiting for? What was Yon waiting for right there? I guess he wants a page, but like... Cypher's Prime! Can he push up? Ah. Yeah, we are seeing that he's keeping the Cypher at 96. Well, he's mainly leaving, but... He's also keeping the Cypher like that because he doesn't want to risk a force pop. Because Clerk, if she has decode recordings, she can force pop that shit bring out detention on the chair and guarantee herself something else it is the funniest shit in the world when it happens oh red ball now we're risking shit oh uh, well 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. what's gonna happen pp's just getting recorded ah clerk you can't get through that yeah clerk you can't get through it yeah just take your free hit because you know he can't decode now they're gonna go to graveyard. Okay, this is good. This is a good. This is actually good. This is very good for them. Wait, gonna be on Kukau? Dog, I need these clerk matches to end faster, please. They just pop. Wait, wait, don't. Did she pop? Somebody popped. I was not paying attention. Tbh, like I couldn't tell. It was either a recording pop or something. But something occurred. Okay, she spectated the gates. 18 is in the area still. Heading over to Corner House now. He doesn't have any items. PP's just also heading to Corner House. This is not good for them. They're both heading to Corner House. Akra's opening the gate. He got recorded. That's tough. That is very sad. Where is Jan going? Jan! Jan, what are we doing? Yes, chase after the psychologist. There we go. There we go, buddy. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Yawn. PPJ should be dead here. Flywheeled and... <laughs> oh my god, the one usage of fucking flywheel and it fails, dude. She can switch to detention though. She doesn't have to switch to detention. She can switch to TP here. Do it. Do it. Do it. Block the gate and do it, please. I swear to god. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill Yon. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna murder him. I'm gonna murder 18 even more if he keeps running into her. Fuck. Yon, you saw the trail. Yon, you saw the trail. Why not just go for the patient that's in fucking... 
You have blink up and everything. What are we doing? I don't understand this play right now. I don't understand what the survivors are doing. TBH. I, I genuinely don't. Like, I can't give, like... 18 is, like, running maybe to, like, mind game the fucking rescue so he can just get dungeon to be safer. But it also makes it easier for Jan because Jan, in theory, he could have just went to graveyard, downed 18, who has already been on chair, put him on the chair, and then forced the acro to come closer. In which then he can maybe actually four man, because if he has the tension hit records, which he fucking doesn't, because why would he? And that's it, that's his dungeon. He marathons this shit to dungeon. That's actually just it. Yeah, that's a draw. That's a draw, that's it. Like, I, I, I don't know, bro. Chasing 18 in Graveyard, like, you literally just use Blink and that's it. And then, boom. Like, you force Akron into such a shit position because he's not making it to Corner House. He, it's not possible. Like, I, I don't know yet. Yan, you motherfucker, bro. I swear to God. All right. Round three, first half. We got fucking Nightwatch with, uh, versus Wildling, Cord, Psych, and Professor. Let's fucking go, Professor Gaming. We're fucking locked in on this shit. Let's go, bitches. Professor fucking gaming. It is 4.07 p.m. shit. I'm gonna have to edit this video fast. Yeah. Okay. I wonder how this is gonna work because Nightwatch v Professor is a fucking mind game and a half. This is a very... This is a very hard mind game. Yeah, Professor burning up. Canonical to Koa 7, by the way. Professor being burned alive. Canonical to Koa 7. Saw that shit in the trailer. They all got fire. Think about it. So maybe they all burn alive to free themselves from that infinite Sukuyomi shit. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is that pain is a great way to snap yourself out of bullshit. It's a good, it's a good wake up call. Jean out here running the standard detention, trump card, blink, night watch, chasing the psych here, psych with windows, cord with flywheel, professor with windows, and wildling with tide. Wildling is getting so much PT now, it's not even funny. Remember when people called wildling shit, wow, that's not a hit! That isn't a hit! If that was me, I was getting hit! I swear to god! If that was me, I was fucking getting hit, bro! Please make this match fast, though. Actually, right, we're reaching the 60 second mark right now. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that's tough fucking titties right there, buddy. Good pallet swing by Jean right there. But this is a good kite. This is a good kite. You see, Windows is better. Windows better than Flywheel for Psychologist, in my opinion. But, like, this is kind of proving it because she's kiting really well. The ciphers are all above 50. Wait, whose cipher is not being decoded? Why is there a cipher that's stagnant? Oh! Well, that fucking explains it. The goddamn pig was coming out of nowhere. Well, she should be dead. She should be dead here. Blink. Yeah, there's the blink. So I want to know how you're going to harass, buddy. Yeah, that, that's what I fucking thought. Well, they have they, the cord and the the cord and the professor just need to start another two ciphers and that's it. Like they they just need to start the final two. Wildling is starting one of them. Oh, cord is going for it, not wildling actually. Oh, cord gun maybe. Yeah, that is true. It's a more it's more of a security than a fucking wildling push. I can tell you that much. That was funny to watch though. Like, why is the ciphers not so uh not so great? And then that's why. Good flywheel. Okay, what are we gonna see here? Are we gonna just see a shoot and rescue? Or are we gonna see a rescue terror shock? Shoot and rescue is the play that we're seeing right now. Okay, good. Better, better safe than sorry. You don't want to risk that mind game. He recovered from that shit fast. He actually recovered from that shit fast as hell. Mm, mm. <laughs> Chen just standing there. Uh, that's fucking funny. Okay. Wildling has the Cypher 50. They have all three. They, they, in theory, they have all three. She should be fine here. Yeah, she's clipped. She's clipped. That's it. It's Jover. Wait. Oh, Psych still ate the hit. Damn, yeah, it's Jover. He might go for the double down. I'm not gonna lie. He's not going for the double down. 
It just sucks that she's dying on this cipher because it's at 50%. So they, I think they should just start Shore or Big Rock. Huh. At this point in the game, they should definitely just start Shore or Big Rock and leave that cipher just as like, you know, haha, we have this cipher here. He's going to get hit off of Boar. No, he's not. No, he is. He's getting pulled. There's the hit off board. Oh, no, he didn't get hit. He forced the hit early by getting off of board. Smart man. Hits the wildling. Good. That's huge. That is huge. So now what are they doing? Are they doing the shot? Are they doing the cornfield cypher? There still aren't. She might be dead here. She might be dead here. Yeah, that's it. It's Jover. And they are starting. They are starting Big Rock. <laughs> that's funny. They tried it. Yeah, they are starting Big Rock. They're just leaving that Cypher there. But Professor has to not move all the way in. And they're getting chaired on Shaq Cypher again. This is just unfortunate. Having a Cypher at 50% that you just can't decode is so upsetting, man. He might just TP, though. He could just afford to TP up. <sighs> oh, you oh, that wasn't Big Rock. That was middle. My mistake on the callouts right there. Oh, wow. What? Huh? What type of fucking sorcery? What witchcraft? He's dead. No, she's dead. She's dead. Chen is dead. No, she's not dead. No, she is. Yeah, she's she's it's Jover. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now they're doing shag. But what type of sorcery was that? That Jean let that happen. What type of fuck shit, bruh? Dude, it's only five minutes in, so we just didn't see the professor there. We we just we just completely ignored him, like did not see him in the slightest. Okay, okay, baby, she's calling me Hercules, but this HMO was said that bitch stuff will hurt me. Okay, and he breaking a pallet, and he's walking against the wildling who's trapping bracket. He's trying to hit the bracket. I don't know why I said bracket there. I don't know. I don't know why I said bracket right there. Why was I thinking of a bracket? That's a, that's, a, that's aside from the point. That's just me being spontaneous at this point with me singing my random bullshitty ass songs. Mind game? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah! Teach your ass some fucking respect. Ah! ah -ha. Oh, well, that's tough, buddy. <laughs> that's rough. Breaking the palette. All right, he's just gonna prompt a chair here. That's fine because once again he chairs on the Shack Cipher, which is good for him, bad for the survivors. Although they do have middle at 50, and the professor has not been injured, and he still has scale. He's already into Nidus range too, so I doubt that Jam is gonna play that aggressive to just risk the professor giving another free rescue and then having a Cipher to pop at 70%. So he might just camp this out, and we are seeing that he is camping it out. He is making the safe call right now, which is fine. This is this is fine. Now, here comes where Professor with his fuck-ass mind games. It's fun, though, when it works, but... Now, he's dropping a scale for the Wildling. <laughs> the emote. Angels of Death and the Wildling folded e-fucking-mediately, bruh. Bro didn't even hesitate for that shit. Oh, that might... They just pop. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. He doesn't make that. <gasps> oh, no! He was almost on it! That would have bought him at least a little bit of time to get to Shaq. Damn, that sucks balls, dude. He, now he know he's just gonna go after the professor. He's still in tinnitus range and he just does. This is a three man. This is a three man one way or the other. Cause Chen if she opens the gate up. Oh. Jump? Jump? What? Jump? Hmm? Jump. Uh buddy, uh I'm a little confused by that play considering that you had tinnitus on someone already for a three man. And you don't need a four. Like you, you don't. You you want I know you want to win and all, but like uh you could she he might actually get dungeon kited. I'm not gonna lie. Jean could actually get dungeon kited here. Dungeon is right there at, at logs, dude. The only thing is that Core doesn't have an item aside from flywheel. She's not vaulting, she's not folding. She is not folding. And the professor's not gonna leave until it's a safe bliss for her to leave. She's not folding up. The reason the professor is staying here is because if he leaves, then Jean can play as aggressive as he wants with this cord for the draw. He, she can just wait out the tension up there, dude. Yep. Now the professor should be leaving. 
yeah professor's leaving right now and that's dungeon yeah that's it that's dungeon wow yeah that's why jam you fucking threw oh my god he threw that that that's why i said earlier i don't agree with that play especially when he already had a target guaranteed anyway look at him in disappointment knowing that he fucked it trying to do some fuck shit good draw on the down five serves though very good draw all right second half of round three we're gonna see patroller bq versus officer dancer cord and priestess okay so um we've seen uh yon's history with patroller bq in later rounds uh, during like a week like week eight match so um yeah i'm a little concerned here i'm not gonna lie i'm a i'm a bit fucking concerned because if his patroller bq was it was like that in the later weeks i'm concerned by what it was during week six oh ladies and gentlemen prepare yourself for the bq match of the fucking century because this might make or break the title i will literally straight fucking remake that same thumbnail and fucking just say yeah patroller bq it's a it's a it's a it's a combo all right it's a it's a thing you can bring jesus i'm so worried now because yan remember yan needs a three man to win he needs to get a three man elimination in order to win the round for dow five so that way they can win this in overall set so bringing a blood queen which is already a draw character in herself um fulan hello buddy what the fuck are we doing you're dead you're actually just dead Unless Yon sucks, you're dead. He's gonna wait for the twirl. No. Oh well, it's fast boxes. She can't do anything yet. Double twirl. <laughs> okay, Yon, you're cooking. Okay, you're not. You're not bad at the game. I, I. I was unfamiliar with your game. I was unfamiliar. That was a sub 60 second kite. He didn't even need to use patroller either. And the worst part about this is the fact that it's an officer on rescue. Why are we using the patroller now? What? You don't even have tinnitus to be using this. You just burned your trait. Why are we setting our trait on fire right now? What is this? What? what, what, what are, are we in Saber? What is this? You just burned your trait. For what? The fuck? Yan, 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 yan. You're getting me upset, buddy. You're an IVL hunter. These are saber decisions. Why? You could have just saved the patroller for now. You could have saved the patroller for now to just prevent the rescue from happening altogether. Instead, you were on this dickhead timing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, and they have global setup. <laughs> Buddy. Oh, if only you could swap to teleport right now. Damn. This might actually change everything. Oh my fucking god. Chat. Remember what I said those match those like weeks ago when we saw Yan once again not ban priestess on a broken fucking priestess map? Remember he didn't even break the global! She could just go back through! Oh bro no bro if I was if I was if I was that fucking if I was dancer I would have went back through just to fucking piss him off. There's no cipher there. I would have literally just went back through. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, patroller. Woo. Their ciphers are low, so you know, Yan is doing things. Cord is gonna shoot. No, she isn't gonna shoot. Huh. Odd. I would have sure thought she would. Oh, well, shooting actually there wouldn't have mattered because she still would have had a mirror and the patroller was still up. Never mind. I would have made the dumb decision right there. If that was me and I shot, that was a stupid decision. Very dumb. <laughs> ah, <laughs> the fucking mirror hit through the cord because she flywheeled. Oh my god, the one time flywheel didn't fuck up, it actually hurt the survivors. That's fucking hilarious, dude. Harassing coordinator, huh? This is the this is where we. Yo, you're ballsy, eighteen. You're actually fucking ballsy. You don't make that shot, by the way. She can just drop. Do your emote. 
do your silly little emo. Why are you not looking behind you to see if the court is shooting? Like, the screen shake is not enough. That shit, especially when somebody's on balloons. That is just, oh my god, that is a gamble I would not take. He was dead on chair, yeah. Uh, they can still draw this, funny enough. They can still draw this. Kukau's opening up a box right now. He wants a syringe, he wants to heal himself, but... They can still draw this. They can. They really can. Oh my god. Oh, Jan is getting rotated, so he's cooked. He's actually cooked. They're, they're, they're putting seasoning on him right now. They're preparing to deep fry his ass. Well, oh, you can't mirror that. You can't watch that one, buddy. That's range? Wait, can you can you actually fucking watch the, the mirror? Or was she? Or was the range just that fucking huge? Yep, there's there's patroller. Well, you're you're a dead officer. Hmm, mm, buddy, she uh, still can see you. <laughs> ah, that's fucking hilarious. But yeah, can she actually just mirror the fucking? Can can you actually like hypnotize the mirror? Or is that just like a watch radius thing being fucking huge? Yo, harassing coordinator. Oh well, pop pop. And they still have it. <laughs> From downtown, baby. Right to the head. And she don't got mirror either. She don't got a chase target now. Yeah. From down fucking town. Cord out here doing what she do best. Shooting a gun one time and then running away to never be seen again. Cord is opening up gate. People just ringing to... Yo, wait. Three man. This might be a three man. This could be a three man, actually. People just got three portals. PP Shell has three portals. This might actually be a fucking three. Yo, Yan, no way you get cooked like this. Yan, no way you get cooked like this. Oh my god, Yan. Yan, you're throwing. Yan, you're inting. Yan, you're actually fucking inting. No, the radius is just that fucking huge. Holy fuck, man. Wait, doesn't the watch just allow him to kite all the way to fucking... Well, she can mirror now. Patroller. No, it's a draw. It's a draw. It is a draw. Wait, no, it's not because he has five seconds of tide. It's not a draw. It's a three. If she hits, he has the five seconds of tide. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Yon threw. Yon, what the fuck? That's a three, man. That's GG's victory right there. <laughs> Look at them. They're like, yo, bro, why would you hit? That's the... Yo... Oh my god, dude, that's so bullshit. Even Yon, you, you see, Yon is like, yeah, yeah, I don't know how to feel about Yon because Yon has a lovable face, you know, like he looks like a nice guy. But holy fuck, you know, in his head, he knows that he just fucked up in the biggest way possible. But if he didn't make that fuck up, I'd have to record around four and I wouldn't be able to upload this video today. So, hey man, gotta be grateful sometimes. But Jesus Christ, that was a fucking set of matches, dude. Holy shit. All right, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. I hope you all did enjoy those sets of IVL matches like usual. And once again, if you guys have any matches you want me to review, do let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share the video, etc. Like I said in the intro, we are trying to hit 2,000 subscribers before the year ends. We are so, so close, and I know we can do it. But thank you all so much for the support. With that being said, I'm Zeus, and I'm out. Peace out, everyone. Love you all.